successful project teams really are teams that have great chemistry. And to put that team together, you need to bring a whole bunch of different people with different skill sets and attributes and different qualities. Uh, you know, and you, because you're not going to find it all in one or two or just a handful of people. Uh, obviously, you need champions. Uh, often, these are people with influence in the community who can, who can help galvanize interest and investment to help make the project happen. You need vision, you know, and sometimes that comes from an individual. But it's important that it's a shared vision. So there are lots of people who need to contribute to the vision of a project. Uh, you need people who are activists, people who are sort of involved and plugged into the community, who've got energy and enthusiasm and are prepared to roll up their sleeves and really work to make the project happen. Uh, often you need enablers, people who can facilitate uh, people who kind of bring specialized expertise, whether it's in the development community, whether it's in the legal profession, whether it's uh, dealing with uh, planning matters, for example. So specialized expertise can often be an important thing. Uh, and, you know, if it's an arts and cultural project, obviously you need connections to the arts uh, community. Uh, you need local stakeholders. So lots of different, uh, different qualities that really need to come together in order to make a successful project team. For Artscape Witchwood Barnes, uh, we started by uh, uh, creating a community advisory committee that included some prominent people who've been very active in the fight to actually save the building from demolition. And those people um, uh, really were neighbors of the project who were, were just kind of in love with the building and wanted to see something happen. We added to that mix uh, a few uh, prominent members of the arts community, people who've been working in the community arts, and we also worked very closely with the um, uh, uh, cultural planner at the City of Toronto, uh, the local councillor, uh, Joe Mahevic, wh who was a huge uh, champion of the project. And into that mix, we brought Artscape and uh, the kind of role that we played in kind of bringing all those kind of interesting uh, perspectives together. And of course, um, uh, a visionary architect, uh, Joe Lobko. So it was from that sort of uh, uh, those different perspectives that we're able to actually forge the vision and really propel the project forward.